Hello, good afternoon friends. Uh, this is my fourth video on bank interview. The, uh, let me cover a few points. I've been trying to record from the morning. Last three, four times it got cut and uh, I, was, I have not been able to upload it. Let me see whether this comes out successful. Today's bank, I mean, bank rate is 9%, repo rate 8%, reverse repo rate 7%, CRR 4%, SLR 22%. What is the gold rate? 2557 roughly per gram. What is the exchange rate per dollar? 61.5 rupees to 61.6 rupees. And sometimes in interviews they ask what is the effect of the uh, say rupee exchange rate value depreciating. The effect of that is it is beneficial for exporters because they will get more Indian rupees. It is not beneficial for importers because they have to pay more Indian rupees per dollar. And uh, what is the question that is asked was, what, what is the maximum salary up to which EPF, that salary has been revised for eligibility under EPF, Employees Provident Fund. It has been revised to 15,000 rupees. Then what is a self-help group? Self-help group is a group formed by men or women Say about 20 of them join together, start a group, save money in a bank and thereafter the bank will be making finance to the self-help group. The leader of the group is supposed to make lending to the members of the group, recover monies from the members and pay it to the bank. This scheme has been very successful in Tamil Nadu among the women self-help group. Many of them engage themselves in productive activities like say um, making agarbatis candles and other small scale related activities. So that is about uh, self-help groups. Now about priority sector. About priority sector I have already given a say a link in the uh, I, uh, Facebook page for a slide, slide uh, show. Still let me tell you briefly about priority sector. Priority sector advances are aimed at helping the village people and also helping to create more employment opportunities. For example, finance to agriculture, small scale industries, then um, say other professions like road transport operators, they come under the priority sector. For agriculture, the, the total priority sector, for to priority sector, and the banks are supposed to make 40%. This is about the uh, say domestic banks, 40% of the net bank credit should go to the priority sector. Whereas among the, within that say 18% should go to the uh, say uh, agriculture. That is a point that has been mentioned. And for other say um, small business it is 10%. There is no target fixed for small scale industry and for export also it is not coming under the priority sector. Please go through that slideshow for further details. Actually this priority sector is given because you know uh, initially banks were not willing to give finance to these sectors because it was more risky and in order to encourage banks to give advance to this, this target was fixed and many of these advances are covered under the Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation. Then um, what is a DMAT account? DMAT account is an account used by um, say customers for buying and selling of shares through stock, their uh, stock brokers. Then next question that was asked is what is the duties of a clerk? What are the functions of a clerk? A clerk in a bank has to receive customers then attend to the needs of the customers like uh, opening a bank account then giving um, say as answering the enquiries then also open, say making passbook entry giving checkbooks and all these are functions of clerical staff apart from this clerical staff are also helpful for say in the other activities like collection of checks filling of the say um, loan forms and documents etc in other words a clerical staff's duty is to help the bank management in trying to render better service to customers. Bank clerks should have an aptitude for rendering service to customers and be able to empathize the needs of the customers and rise up to the occasion. Then 
there was a question about what are the problems the public sector banks are facing. Public sector banks, what the problems faced, in my view, are number one, the NPA. The recovery of NPA is a big issue that has been causing problems. Apart from that, sometimes some branches do face a shortage of manpower. This is also a, another problem. So these are some of the problems I wanted to tell you. Then the, another question that was asked is about who is the chairman of SBI. Many of you will be knowing it is Arundhati Bhattacharya. Why more importance is given for this name? It's because in the last 206 years, first time a woman has been made a chairman of the State Bank of India. What is the expansion of ATM? Automated Teller Machine. What is the expansion of WWW? World Wide Web. Then under the insurance sector is under IRDA, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority. The chairman is TV Vijayan. The headquarters is in, um, say, Hyderabad. Then what is IPO? IPO is Initial Public Offering that comes in the case of, say, companies going for raising funds from the market. So apart from this, let me tell you certain other points that I come across as important one-liners. RBI is the central bank in India. RBI was established by an Act of Parliament in the year 1934. RBI has four regional centers at Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai and Delhi. The head office of RBI is located at Mumbai. The currency notes other than one rupee notes are issued by RBI. RBI maintains the exchange rate for the Indian rupee, hold the country's reserves in foreign currencies and administration of the exchange management regulations. Scheduled commercial banks are those banks which are included in the second schedule of the RBI Act 1934. Scheduled commercial banks are State Bank of India and its associates, five associates, then nationalized banks, 19 nationalized banks, then private sector banks, regional rural banks, urban cooperative banks, state cooperative banks, and we have other public sector banks like IDBI and Bharat uh, Mahila Bank also. Then 14 banks were nationalized in the year 1969 on 19th July. Six banks were nationalized in 1980. Our regional rural banks were established on 2nd October 1975. In the year 1993, New Bank of India was merged with uh, Punjab National Bank. The full form of ICICI, Industrial Credit and Investment Corporation of India Limited. Indian Banks Association is an association of managements of banks was formed on 26 September 1946. Then Life Insurance Corporation of India was formed uh, in 1956 as a wholly owned corporation of government of India that again was formed by merging uh, the existing private sector insurance companies as on that date. General Insurance Corporation of India was formed and registered on January 1973 under the Insurance Act 1938 in accordance with the provisions of General Insurance Business Nationalization Act 1972. What are the names of, uh, what is the name of, say, our uh, general insurance companies in public sector? New India Assurance, United India Insurance, Oriental Insurance, National Insurance Company. What is a general insurance? General insurance company is basically interested in carrying out, say, the insurance risk of, say, fire, burglary, theft, etc. Export or Import Bank of India was established in the year 1982. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development was established in the year 1982 under an Act of Parliament. Now regarding interest on savings bank in SB accounts, now the savings bank interest rate is not regulated by RBI. It is left to the discretion of the banks. But whatever interest they agree to pay, it should be same for all the customers. There again some variation has been done. They have said that up to 1 lakh it should be the same rate of interest. 
and above 1 lakh it should be a different rate of interest and there should not be any differentiation among customers. The same rate should be offered to all the customers depending on the amount that is held. In uh, public sector banks we have a common interest rate of 4% SBI interest, SB interest rate. Today morning I read in the newspaper that Lakshmi Vilas Bank is offering 5% interest rate. I also came across some in higher interest rates being offered by Kotak Mahindra Bank, Yes Bank and all. Because as it is savings bank interest rates are not regulated by RBI and it is paid based on daily balance in the SB account. Depending on balance in the SB account every day. Then banks cannot accept interest free deposits other than in current account. With effect from April 1st, 2010, payment of interest on savings accounts um, is being calculated on daily product basis. Accounts are allowed to be operated by checks in respect of both savings bank account as well as current account. Fixed deposits and recurring deposits are repayable after an agreed period and they are known as time deposits. Savings bank account and current account are known as demand deposits. When a bank returns a check unpaid, it is called a dishonor of check. Then uh, accounts in which shares of various companies are traded in electronic form is called DMAT account. A distribution of insurance products and insurance policies by the banks as corporate agencies is known as bank assurance. The rate of inflation increases when the purchasing power of money, money decreases. A centralized database with online connectivity to branches through internet as well as ATM network which has been adopted by almost all major banks in the country is known as core banking. Treasury bills, commercial paper, certificate of deposit, shares and bonds are called as money market instruments. Insurance cover for bank deposits in the country is provided by Deposit Insurance and the Credit Guarantee Corporation of India Limited. Deposits up to 1 lakh in an individual's name in one bank are covered by DICGC. The loans of very small amount given to low income group is called microcredit. ALM stands for Asset Liability Management. The banking ombudsman resolves the compliance of the customers in regard to services provided by the banks. For purchase of white goods, the following loan is granted by the banks, that is consumer durable loan. White goods we mean air conditioners, then refrigerators, etc. Money laundering means the process of conversion of money obtained illegally to appear to have originated from legitimate sources. A customer drawing a check on a bank has the right to stop payment of the check before it is paid. He can stop, make stop payment of the check. A check which has completed the stipulated validity period of the check is called stale check. Nowadays, a check which is more than three, day, three months old from the date mentioned on the check is considered as stale check. Interest is not paid in current deposits. CAMEL, C-A-M-E-L denotes capital adequacy, asset quality, manage, asset quality, management, efficiency and liquidity. Let me repeat, CAMEL denotes capital adequacy, asset quality, management, efficiency and liquidity. When the ATM machine installed in the bank is out of order, it is called as operational risk. When the computers are not functioning, it is also called as operational risk. When the loans are not repaid in time, it is called credit risk. When the bank's products fail to survive in the market, it is called market risk. When the banks are not able to pay the amount to the depositors, it is called liquidity risk. The first Indian bank 
to open a branch outside India in London in 1946 is Bank of India. Kumar Mangalam Birla is the architect of SEBI's. SEBI means Securities Exchange Board of India. Corporate Governance Code. Malhotra Committee had suggested to establish an insurance regulatory authority. Coins up to 50 paise are called small coins and coins of rupee 1 and above are called rupee coins. Coins can be issued up to the denomination of rupees 1000 as per Coinage Act 1906. All commercial banks including branches of foreign banks functioning in India, local area banks and regional rural banks are insured by the DICGC. Each depositor in a bank is insured up to a maximum of rupees 1 lakh for both principal and interest amount. A single ownership account is an account owned by one person. Deposit insurance premium is borne entirely by the insured bank. The deposit insurance scheme is compulsory and no bank can withdraw from it. A micro enterprise is an enterprise where investment in plant and machinery does not exceed rupees 25 lakh. A small enterprise is an enterprise where the investment in plant and machinery is more than rupees 25 lakh but does not exceed rupees 5 crore. A medium enterprise is an enterprise where the investment in plant and machinery is more than rupees 5 crores but does not exceed rupees 10 crores. The Ministry of MSME, Government of India and SIDBI set up the Credit Guarantee Fund Trust for micro and small enterprises with a view to facilitate flow of credit to the MSC sector without the need for collaterals third party guarantee. Soil note means a note which has become dirty due to usage and also includes a two piece note pasted together wherein both the pieces presented belong to the same note and form the entire note. Mutilated bank note is a bank note of which a portion is missing or which is composed of more than two pieces. Imperfect bank note means any bank note which is wholly or partially obliterated, shrunk, washed, altered or indecipherable but does not include a mutilated bank note. Yeah, the battery was low, so I had to go and get it set up. Thank you.